It is 5.03 and I am calling this meeting to order. So our first, the first thing I have to do is take attendance. So Lauren said that she wasn't able to make it. Ellie is here, Madeline is here, and Nick is not here. Okay. So next is public comment. So are there any members of the public that wish to speak? Okay, seeing none. Um, next is the approval of our minutes. So first we'll do the March 24th minutes. So do I have a motion to accept those minutes? I have a motion. Do I have a second? I second. So now I call the roll. Myself, yes. Madeline? Yes. And Ellie? Yes. Okay, so those are accepted. And then next are the April 14th minutes. So um, do I have a motion to accept those minutes? And do I have a second? I second. Um, do, uh, so now I have to call the roll. So myself, yes. Madeline? Yes. And Ellie? Yes. All right. So next uh, agenda, uh, yes, next agenda item is a meet the members um, update. So Lauren, I, I texted Lauren um, this afternoon and she said that she's gonna send out the form uh, tonight. So hopefully that'll get set up soon and hopefully Madeline, you'll be able to like craft those, um, those posts for all our members. So I think that's a really great thing that we're doing. Does anyone wanna say something on that? Okay. Um, sorry, quickly. So Lauren, so I'll just put all the information about each person as like the caption. And just kind of say like, is that kind of the format of it? Yeah, I, I think that's what we did last year. Um, I oh think yeah, I can also like, go back and look at. Yeah, I think that we had a, year. yeah, yeah. I think that's what we did last year. All right, perfect, thank you. Okay. So next um, I put on the agenda, courts and fields focus group update. So Catherine, do you have anything new um, regarding the focus group? Um, as far as the focus group, I can't remember if, so Nick W and I met with uh, Dan McGrath a couple of weeks ago and um, we decided that we wanted to have the focus group um, after vacation. So Nick W is meeting with Mr. Tetrell to get the location at the school because we thought we'd do it right after school. Mm -hmm. um, so I know Ollie, you've done the flyer for the event uh, for the focus group um, and um, Dan McGrath offered to raffle off um, two hours of the gym for yes. one of the people that um, for the uh, that participates and will offer free snacks for the participants. So um, the next thing we have to do on that, I guess we could work on it on um, Monday is uh, figure out the focus group questions. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So is that something that we should do in the general youth council meeting is determine who's going to figure out the focus group questions? What do you all think? Mm, um, I think that we can do that at the general youth council meeting or, or, or do you, or do you think that we should like plan like a separate, like smaller meeting for that? Um, I think we could maybe just give it to a couple people to work on. Yeah. Um, and then they can just work on it. The two of them can work on it and we don't have to do a posted meeting. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyone that's interested in that, I mean, it's a really cool thing to be able to work on a focus group and questions and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mr. McGrath gave us um, some, so we have those to start, but you know, middle schoolers, yeah, Madeline, you're being one. You're you're a talker, Madeline. I know you would feel that, but some of them sometimes they need multiple questions, or uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. You can't just have like three questions and oh, okay. Um, he said, Mister. Uh, so Nick W is responding back. I sent Mister T an email. He hasn't responded. Okay. Okay. So what do you think we should say back to Nick? Swing by his office? Yeah, I think that's a good plan.
or I'll say, or maybe ask Mr. Cedroni to help you. Oh yeah, that, that, that's also a good plan, yeah. Eighth or seventh. Does seventh grade have a project room? Yes, I believe so. So I'll say we could use this eighth or seventh grade project room. Maybe next Thursday. Are there a lot of clubs right after school on Thursdays? Madeline, do you know? I think there are a few, um, but I'm not. I don't believe that every project room will be um, being used at that time. So at least one should be open, but I'm not sure which one because okay. every grade has one. Great. And then once out. we have this flyer done, we can have Mr. Tetrald or Miss, um, she could, they could send it to all the seventh and eighth graders so that they at least get an email mm -hmm. um, and, and we could, you have the youth action team and the youth council posted on their social media as well. Yeah. I could also find out tomorrow which project rooms will be open if you wanted. Do you want to take care of that? Sure. Yeah. Do you ever see Nick W at school? Yeah. I don't okay. have many classes with him, but. Okay. I so can definitely get in touch with him. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say Madeline is going to try because next Thursday would be great if we could make it happen. Um, cause it, cause it, I even walked by Mr. Mayo's office today and he said, oh, I hear the youth council is doing something about the basketball courts. This is really exciting. So he's excited about this. So I don't even, I did not tell him about this. So, um, mm -hmm. so we'll, um, so Madeline is going to try and. Okay, I can swing by tomorrow. Um, great, Madeline will connect with you. If you can't find him. Okay, so the two of you and Nick W can connect tomorrow, Madeline, and try to secure a project room for next Thursday. I know that's the day um, that, they're, they're having a speaker come, the free hugs guy, so. Okay, that all sounds good. Okay, did, did anyone else wanna say something? Okay, so next on our agenda is annual town meeting promotion. So I know that we've um, uh, talked about this a little bit before. So I believe town meeting is on May 16th. So Madeline, do you wanna like, create something um, like um, like with information about that um, for like um, to, to post on our Instagram and Facebook page? Yeah, um, I can pull up like my notes up or whatever, but is there like certain information that I should be including in that? Because I don't know a lot about what to include in that. Um, so yeah, so the time and date are important. And also it would be good if you could like include a link to the town um, <coughs> for the meeting, because that's gonna like cover what the meeting is actually about. Wait, it's a link to what? What did you say? What is the link to? Um, the the meeting warrant. It, I believe it's on the town website. Okay. I think there's a also, didn't, didn't our town do a social media for the town meeting? Oh, you're right. Maybe, maybe we could just like um, repost that. Yeah, because you could make your own header or put something on that said Wakefield Youth, if you're over 18, you can participate. If you're under 18, you can still um, you can still be there, but not vote. Is that correct? I, I believe so. I think that's what Mr. Chine said last time. Yeah, there's a special section, like there's a section for people that are like in the press or don't live in the community that have to sit in and they won't count your vote. So that that's definitely um, something to, um, especially with a lot of people doing their civics projects right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So that sounds good. Um, so yeah, so we'll read, so we'll just um, use what the town posted and then um, add a heading to that. So that sounds good with, with that information. 
All right. So next on our agenda. So who's going to find that? Um, Madeline, do you think that you could find that? Because I, I, I don't have social media. Yeah. So it's just the, um, they have an Instagram account. Mm -hmm. No, say. they don't. I'm oh. going to, I'm going to send you, um, um, actually, can you write down Jen McDonald's email address, Madeline? If you email yeah. her, she's our communications manager for the town. Jen McDonald? Yeah. She'll give you, she'll share with you um, the social media she does for the, so then you can just repost that. So Jen McDonald is J-M-C-D-O-N-L-A-D. Jen Mc, J. McDonald at wakefield.ma.us. Can you read that one more time? Sorry, I was like trying to listen and type at the same time. Oh, yeah. Um, J. McDonald. So it's J M C D O N A L D at wakefield.ma.us. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. Okay. So does anyone else want to say something on that? Okay. So yeah, that, that sounds good um, with the town meeting promotion. So next, um, I just wanted to follow up on youth council promotion and outreach. So I wanted to talk a little bit about applications. So I know that um, the press release or um, something, yeah, press release went um, up on the town website yesterday. I also saw it on Patch. So I wanted to do like, um, a, I don't know, did a social media post go up on Instagram? So Madeline, do you think that you could- Not yet. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say not yet, but I can definitely make one. Okay, so um, you can, I think that you can use some of the stuff that we used last year for that, just like, okay. a, um, like the information on it. So mm -hmm. email Lauren about that. Yeah. You can, and yeah, and you can get on that. Yeah, absolutely. And also I could, um, I'm, I'm going to put, I try to put something in the, um, the high school announcements. I'm not sure about the middle school announcements because I don't really know um, like who I would contact with that. Um, do, Catherine, do you know who I would contact for that or Madeline? I can talk to um, Principal Webb tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll write something up for you to um, give to her. And um, yeah, you can give that to her and it can go in the morning announcements for the Galvin. Does that sound good? Okay. Does anyone, Catherine, did you want to say something? Um, no, I, I oh. think you guys are all set. Okay. So um, the next item on our agenda is next meeting date reminder. So our next meeting would be the 12th because our next youth council meeting is the third okay so um may 12th yes may 12th. yeah may 12th at five would be our next meeting date so does anyone else want to say anything in in total okay so um do i have a motion to adjourn the meeting oh well madeline Sorry, um, did you want me to make a post about seniors and who served this term? And if so, yeah. how do you want me to go with that? Um, so um, for the seniors, do we want to do what we did last year when we were doing like the college, like when, when we showed them like where which colleges they're going to, Catherine? I think that would be great. Um, Madeline, if you follow on um, social media. Like um, the Wakefield seniors. Yeah, do you follow them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you could take their posts and reshare them and say, we're so proud of our youth council member, our youth council chair, Lauren, mm -hmm. um, or something like that. You can figure out a way and maybe you can put the youth council symbol on it or something like that. Okay, perfect. What do you think, anyway. Ellie? Yeah, I, I think that's I think that's good. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, so we have um, let's make sure we have all of our seniors. So we have Lauren, um, we have Yana, um, we have Josh Catino, um, we have Nick Polari, mm -hmm. we have um, 
Matt Connolly, even though we haven't seen Matt lately, we still want to shout out. Um, who else are our seniors? Uh, so it's Lauren, Yana, Nick, Matt. Who else? I think I missed one. I'll I'll send you. I'll go through the youth council list and highlight all of them, and then um, we can email the ones we don't. You know, but maybe you can post one every couple of days. Yeah. Because okay. that's uh, May 1st is college decision time day so that they all have to decide by May 1st. So maybe we'll wait a couple of days and then start announcing just in case somebody decides to change their mind. Yeah, that's okay, perfect. Okay. Um, did anyone else want to say something? Okay, so do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I motion. Um, do, do I have a second? I second. So now I'm going to call the roll. Uh, myself, yes. Madeline? Yes. And Ellie? Yes. Okay, so now the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming.